Hi friends, I'm Dr. Jeev Ram. Today I will discuss about cerebral palsy and its management. In 1860s known as cerebral paralysis or Little's disease, after an English surgeon wrote the first medical descriptions. Cerebral palsy is a group of permanent disorder of the development of movement and posture causing activity limitation. Cerebral palsy is a motor disorder. The condition involves disturbances of sensation, perception, communication, cognition, and behavior. Secondary musculoskeletal problems and epilepsy. Cerebral palsy is a term used for a group of non progressive disorder of movement and posture caused by abnormal development of damage to motor control centers of the brain. Cerebral palsy is a disorder of the movement muscle tone posture that is caused by an insult to the immature developing brain most often before birth. Etiology causes of cerebral palsy are prenatal, perinatal and postnatal. Prenatal causes of cerebral palsy, maternal causes, diabetes, hypothyroidism, exposure to radiation, toxins, malnutrition, cognitive impairment, seizures, infections, incompetent cervix, bleeding, polyhydroamnios, genetic abnormalities, previous child with development disabilities, previous premature birth, medication use, severe proteinuria, gestational causes, chromosomes abnormalities, genetic syndrome, teratogen, RH incompatibility infections, congenital malformations, fetal development abnormalities, problems in placenta functioning, inflammatory response, labor and delivery causes, premature delivery, prolonged rupture of membranes, fetal heart rate depression, abnormal presentation, long labor, preeclampsia, asphyxia, perinatal causes, prematurity and associated problems, sepsis or central nervous system infections, seizure, intraventricular hemorrhage, periventricular hemorrhage, macronium aspiration, number of days on mechanical ventilation, persistent pulmonary hypertension, intrauterine growth restriction, low birth weight, postnatal or childhood causes, brain injury, meningitis or encephalitis, toxins, traumatic brain injury, infections, stroke. Protective factors Obstetric care, magnesium sulfate, antibiotics, corticosteroids. Types of cerebral palsy, spastic, dyskinetic, ataxia. Spastic cerebral palsy is characterized by persistent primitive reflexes, positive Babinski reflex, ankle clonus, exaggerated stretch reflex, eventual development of contractures. Types of spastic cerebral palsy, hemiplegia, motor dysfunction on one side of the body, upper extremity more affected than lower. Diplegia, all extremities affected but lower extremities more affected than upper. Tetraplegia, quadriplegia, all four extremities involved. Triplegia, involving three extremities. Monoplegia, involving only one extremities. Paraplegia, pure cerebral paraplegia of lower extremities. Dyskinetic cerebral palsy, athetoid chorea, involuntary irregular jerking movements, is characterized by slow, warm-like writhing movements that usually involve the extremities, trunk, neck, facial muscle, and tongue. Dystonic, slow, twisting movements of the trunk or extremities, abnormal posture, Involvement of the pharyngeal and oral muscle causing drooling and dysarthria, imperfect speech articulation. A toxic cerebral palsy, wide based gait, rapid repetitive movement performed poorly, disintegration of movements of the upper extremities when the child reaches for objects. Clinical manifestation. Physical signs, poor head control after 3 months of age, stiff or rigid arms or legs, pushing away or arching back, floppy or limp body posture, can't sit up without support by 8 months, 
uses only one side of the body are only the arms to crawl clenched hands after three months leg scissoring scissors sensory impairment hearing vision after six months of age persistent tongue thirsting early signs infancy zero to three months stiff or floppy posture excessive lethargy or irritability high pitched cry poor head control weak suck tongue thirst tonic bite feeding difficulties behavioral signs extreme irritability or crying feeding difficulties little interest surrounding excessive sleeping diagnostic test physical examination history taking neurologic assessment magnetic resonance imaging ultrasound computerized tomography electroencephalogram electromyogram laboratory studies additional tests treatment medical treatment therapy can help a person with cerebral palsy to enhance functional abilities and therapy is cheerfully symptomatic and preventive the broad aims of therapy are to establish locomotion communication and self help to gain optimum appearance and integration of motor functions to correct associated defects as early and effectively to provide educational opportunities adapted to the individual child's needs and capabilities to promote socialization experiences with other affected and affected children the therapy treatment include physical therapy physical therapy is directed toward good skeletal alignment for a child with spasticity training face involuntary motion and gait training physical therapy can help the child's strength flexibility balance motor development and mobility physical therapy uses orthotic devices such as braces casting and splints to support and improved walking occupational therapy using alternative strategies and adaptive equipment occupational therapists work to promote the child's independent participation in daily activities and routines in the home the school in the community adaptive equipment may include walkers quadrupedal canes seating systems or electric wheelchairs speech and language therapy speech language pathologists can help improve the child's ability to speak clearly or to communicate using sign tongue recreation therapy this therapy can help improve child's motor skills speech and emotional well-being pharmacological treatment of cerebral palsy the goal of drug therapy is to reduce the effects of cerebral palsy and prevent complications analgesic drug to reduce intense pain or muscle spasm botulinum toxin type a used to reduce spasticity in targeted muscle of the upper and lower extremities inhaled nitrous or midazolam used for sedation during botulinum toxin a injection dental lean sodium baclofen and dizepam to improving muscle coordination and to muscle relaxation anticonvulsant drug to relieve or stop seizures surgical treatment of cerebral palsy surgery used to correct problems with bones and joints by lengthening any muscles and tendons that are too short and causing problems orthopedic surgery orthopedic surgery may be required to correct contracture or spastic deformities to provide stability for an uncontrolled joint to address bone malalignment and to provide balanced muscle power example for orthopedic surgery tendon transfer muscle lengthening and spinal deformities selective dorsal rhizotomy selective dorsal rhizotomy is a surgical procedure that can help children with particularly severe muscle stiffness in their legs to improve their walking the operation involves cutting some of the nerves in the lower spinal column which can help relieve leg stiffness gastrostomy surgery may be performed to improve feedings correct gastroesophageal reflux disease and correct associated dental problems